Hello again. In this video I'm going to give you the basic guide of chimney flues and chimney pots so that you can identify the chimney pot you wish to work on for instance for capping off or adding a chimney cow, smoke testing to confirm your selection and finally how to get an accurate guesstimate as to the size of your chimney pot if you wish to order a chimney cap or a chimney cow. Firstly let's have a look at some basic chimney flue construction so we can get an idea of what's going on. Let's have a look at this simple one chimney flue, one fireplace example. The fireplace is in the front lounge and you will probably share the chimney stack with a neighbour if you had one. It really doesn't get any simpler than this. Next we have a two fireplace construction with front and rear downstairs fireplaces and two flues. Again, if you have a neighbour, they will have their own side as well. And, as a final example, this is a common construction found in many terraced houses, semi-detached and detached properties in the UK. Because it is more complicated, let's have a look at it a bit more in depth, starting outside, at the chimney, at a real life example. This is the chimney stack on the four fireplace, four flue example we have just been looking at. These four pots are our house and behind them are the neighbour's four chimney pots. Now by using the magic of Photoshop let's x-ray the stack to reveal all four of our flues and number them. Typically here is how the numbers relate to the internal rooms. Number one, front bedroom. Number two, front lounge. Three, rear lounge. Four, rear bedroom. Internally this would most likely be the construction and you may or may not have some of these fireplaces blanked off inside. This isn't 100% accurate but it is very very common and it will help you in the next stage which is the smoke test. If you need more clarity on any of this please visit the website link at the end of the video or in the description bar. It gives you links to support pages on my website. For safety reasons, always smoke test any chimney flue with a good quality smoke pellet or smoke bomb before you fit a cap or a cow to any pot. I cannot stress how dangerous it is to cap off the wrong pot. Here I'm going to use a highly visible coloured smoke pellet in a disused front lounge fireplace that is being removed. By placing the pellet on an old saucer, it's just a matter of lighting it and positioning the lit pellet in the throat of the chimney. Remember to follow any instructions on the packet about ventilation requirements. From the outside you should see something like this. It's a good idea to have a second person outside with binoculars or a smartphone to make a note of the results. If it's not possible to smoke test the flu that you wish to cap, rule out all other flues by a process of elimination. Now I'm going to show you how to calculate the width of your chimney pot and internal pot size from the floor. It's actually quite easy and surprisingly accurate wherever you have a brick chimney or exposed bricks near a chimney pot. Here is a chimney pot which I've positioned on the floor. Next, by taking a common house brick and placing it on top of the pot you can see how this could act as an impromptu tape measure. And by measuring one of your house bricks at ground level, you can use this knowledge in the following way. As you can see, this brick is 220 millimeters or nearly nine inches. And if we switch to imperial inches for a moment, it will make things a little clearer. By placing this nine inch brick on top of the pot, we can see that the inside of the pot is smaller in relation to the brick. Now, if we imagine the brick was half an inch bigger each side, it would sit flush, meaning the outside of the pot is 10 inches or about 250 millimeters. And we can also see that if we were to shave half an inch off each side of the brick so that it became an eight inch brick, it would just fit inside the pot. This means that the inside of the pot is eight inches or about 200 millimeters. And this is how you would do it and what it would look like from the floor. Here we have a two pot stack as viewed from ground level. 
Now I've zoomed in a bit closer, let's choose a full brick near the top, near the pot. Say this one. Just by imagining it above the top of the pot, you can repeat the process we did earlier. I have literally copied the brick and pasted it just above the chimney pot. And you can see how it would work out almost exactly like our earlier example. Using this technique, it should be easy to get measurements for chimney cows and caps. If you want more real life examples of pots and how to measure them, visit the website link at the end of the video or in the description bar. Well, that's all for this video. I hope this proves useful in some way and thanks for watching.